Welcome! For a couple of years now I've been using a fantastic piece of software called Home Assistant and I love it. After many experiments, today I want to show you what I think is the best way to install Home Assistant, which is in the Docker container environment with the supervisor. But first we have to decide where you want to install it. Keep in mind that it will run 24-7, so the power efficiency is an important factor. So, my go-to solution is obviously a Raspberry Pi, but I won't use the Home Assistant OS, because although it has a high ease of use, it imposes several limitations. For the operating system I will use the Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit because it has the official updated drivers, but you can even use Ubuntu or Debian if you want. So, let's start by connecting your microSD card or your USB SSD to the computer. Now, if you haven't already, we have to install the Raspberry Pi Imager from the official website. Then we choose the operating system. Under Other we can select Raspberry Pi OS Lite 64B. Then we choose our microSD card and before writing we have to set a few things. Let's click on the settings icon. Now if you want you can change the host name and in order to control the Raspberry we must enable SSH. Password authentication is fine but I highly recommend to switch to public key authentication for a secure long-term deployment. You can create a new user and set your Wi-Fi credential, but for higher stability I recommend using an Ethernet connection. Click on Save and then on Write. When it's done, we can remove the SD card from the computer and insert it on the Raspberry Pi. Connect your Ethernet cable and power supply. Now we must find the IP address of your Raspberry. You can find it using an Android or iOS app called Fink. Scan your network and find your Raspberry. So, if you have your Raspberry IP address, we can open the terminal and type ssh, your username, in my case is Fabio, at the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Press enter. Yes, we want to connect to the Raspberry Pi. Then enter your uh, user password. Okay, we are connected to our Raspberry. So, the first thing to do is uh, sudo apt get update and end sudo apt get upgrade uh, dash y. This will update the Raspberry Pi. Now we have to install Docker, but first we need some packages. Now we need to set up the Docker repository. Now the Docker repository is set up, so we can update our package list by writing sudo apt-get update. And finally we can install docker by typing sudo apt-get install docker-ce docker-ce-cli and containered.io docker compose plugin. Then we can grant our user the permission to use the docker command by typing sudo usermod-a capital G docker and our username. Then we have to enable two services by writing sudo systemctl enable docker.service and with sudo systemctl enable container.service. It's time to install Home Assistant. You can do so by opening the link in the video description which will open the supervised installer for Home Assistant. Following the guide we have to install some dependencies and we request sudo privileges by writing sudo su dash. We paste our command and press enter. We have already installed docker, so now we have to install the OS agent by clicking this link. Let's scroll up and click on releases. Now we select the latest version and we right click on the Linux Arch64.deb file and we select copy link. 
Once we have copied the link, we can write in our terminal wget and paste our link. You can see that we have downloaded the OS agent installer. To actually install it, we have to write dpkg-i OS agent file. Press enter. Perfect. Now we can follow the last step of the installation. We select our version of Raspberry Pi. Now we have to wait until the installation process finish, which usually takes a few minutes. Then we can create our administrator account, set up our home, and here you go, you have completed your supervised home assistant installation. If this video was useful, please leave a like and subscribe. Bye!